Hello people, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to split the power planes in LTM designer. So as you can see, there is only five steps by following those. We can simply split the power plane and assign the net name to those, right? So as usual, uh, the first step is we have to create the power plane using the layer stack up manager. And the second step is we will draw the section using the top and bottom overlay. So like after sectioning or when we manufacture our PCB, we can simply visualize the sections of power plane. So it will be very helpful for testing and all, right? Another step is select the power plane layer. So we'll, uh, from the layer set, we will select the power plane layer. Now the step four is draw the line on overlay to section the power plane. So uh, we, uh, after selecting the power plane layer, we will simply draw the line over the overlay lines that we have already drawn and uh, that will section the power plane. So I will show you also like in 3D mode, um, we can see like this copper layer is basically split into multiple parts. Now the next step is assign the net name to different power planes. So after sectioning the power plane, we'll assign the nets like suppose which power plane section is 5 volt which is plus 3v3 which is 1.5 or 3 whatever right but before going further if you guys want to order your pcb assembly from nextpcb.com just go to the link given in the description and it will direct you to this page here you have to log in with your gmail id and after login you can you have to click over the pcb assembly and here you have to fill the detail like the number of quantity number of the uh, the assembly pad number of the through holes pad now code now and here you have to fill all other details like the dimension of your pcb now if you guys want to order just click over the pcb and here you have to add the quantity now click over the calculate enter the country and the postal service in your country available add to, to the card and here you have to upload all the three documents like the bill of material and the GABA file and the pick and place component file after that submit now the next pcb people will contact you through your mail id and give you the payment link let's uh, go for a quick demo demo so here you can see uh, this is a normal uh, pcb firstly i'm just going to create the layer stack up uh, the power plane because right now it, it has only two layers so just go to the design layer stack up manager and uh, just close this one right click here insert layer below plane right click here insert layer below plane so this layer will be like uh, l1 first layer this will be the ground plane this will be the power plane and this is our second layer l2 okay save so this is a like the ideal uh, a layer is taken for four layer that will not talk about here uh, i have already mentioned in the previous video mm -hmm. so here uh, yeah so firstly we will, now the next step is so we have created the uh, this will draw the overlay on the boundary where you want to sp split the plane so i gonna i want to divide it into four sections so firstly i just select the top overlay from here tab let's make it a little bit thinner our board into one two three and four sections now the next step is select the power plane layer here we go we have selected now we'll again click over the line press tab and just increase the line width whatever the clearance you want between the power track so it like minimum 40 mil is required between the power track so like this is a sufficient clearance for normal pcbs now we'll simply draw the track so i'm just going to change the grid to point 0.1 sorry it is so small 0.5 is good press tab here we go then another will be here done next will be here here we go so here we have sectioned uh, our power plane as you can see 
Now I'm going to show you in 3D mode how this power pane is splitted. So if you press 3, now you have to press Shift S and click over the power pane. So you can see the copper is divided into 1, 2, 3 and 4 parts, right? See, there's no cop copper in the uh, middle of the planes, right? So that means these properly sections. Now I'm just going to show you how you can assign nets on different section of plane. See, see, we can select the sections of plane. Now double click here. Now we have nets here. So firstly I'll assign the 12 volt here in this section. Here I'll assign suppose um, plus 5 volt. Again 12 volt and plus 3 volt. So you can see our uh, planes are splitted and we have assigned the layer. So let's uh, take a quick demo here. So tab, I'm just increasing the VR size so it will be like clearly visible. Uh, 0.8 mm and this will be 0.4 mm. Yeah. So now I'm just going to uh, so see you can see it is not connected anywhere because there is no net assigned to this via. So I'm just going to assign it to so you can say whatever the plane it is. So in power plane double click. So this is 12 volt. So I'm just going to assign the 12 volt net here. There we go. So you can see it is connected, right? So that means this this uh, plane is the Similarly, you can place component here and uh, if you want like more sections, you can simply divide or you want to merge sections, you have to simply remove the line and it will be automatically merged, right? Thank you guys.